What's going on guys? Heath Shankles and Freedom Marketer bringing you another video on this beautiful Alabama fall morning here. It is, uh, you know, Alabama is normally a, a little bit slower than uh, everywhere else, especially, you know, like up north on the weather, you know, as far as bringing like the fall and the winter in and all that. But it's finally starting to cool down just a little bit here. And uh, yeah, leaves are starting to change color. So it's really pretty here right now. And the weather feels great temperature wise. So anyways, what I want to talk with you guys this morning about is the education system. All right. Okay. So to begin with guys, um, you know, if you don't know anything about our education system other than you went to school you know and you went through it from kindergarten to whatever grade or you graduated through the 12th grade right um, from the get-go whenever we're children you know the system that's what it is it's a system and you know systems are good for business and, and because it makes everything organized and, the, and you know that way you can study the data and track it and, and understand where your gains and your losses are and run the numbers and all that good stuff okay but you know school really shouldn't be a business it takes some money to run it right but I mean it shouldn't just be a for-profit thing in my opinion uh, you know and that's really what private schools are for sure you know is a for-profit thing you may get a better education that's true but uh, anyways so to start with uh, you're you're brainwashed from the time you enter into like kindergarten you know they, they start the brainwashing early you're taught to be right on time every day and then there's the grade system right like A's B's C's and D's okay and uh, sorry guys I'm sitting in this car and the air conditioners uh, like freezing me okay so A's B's C's D's right and F's okay so F is bad for failure right and A is the best that means you're good that means you're smart right Okay, so they teach you to be on time. Do not speak unless you raise your hand first. Uh, one person talk at a time. You know, some things are good, right? And you know, it's good to have order in, in, in things, especially when you're dealing with a bunch of people at once. You know, no one wants to hear 50 people trying to talk over each other or 25 in a classroom. Um, and you definitely want to respect your teacher and stuff like that. But people, you know, as kids were taught, that failure is bad failure is so bad right like that if you fail if you make a bad grade that you're stupid pretty much you know like you you just a screw up or or that's just bad okay regardless of how far you want to take it you know it's like getting beat with a whip you're bad no no john john don't do that like don't fail you need to make an a right you're taught to go to school you know stay out of trouble graduate go to college get a degree uh, and so on right and then what go get a job you are taught that from the very beginning I don't care what school you went to and it is mandatory that you go to school your parents will go to jail or whoever your legal guardian is will go to jail uh, you know if, if you're not at school if, or if like truancy like if you keep showing up late you know your parents get you to school late whenever you're a kid or whenever you're 16 you start driving if you're late right um, you know and then I think what is it well here in Alabama I know it's 16 and you can quit school um, but I also think that you have to have a guardian sign off on that too I don't think it's even really still just your choice individually so um, but the point is they want you to go to school get an education and train you for the workforce they have all these uh, career day events, right? Where you know, like the army and the military guys come in and uh, do the push-up competitions, this, that, and other. All this recruiting stuff, right? The military is trying to get you right then. Um, I was a college football player, so they tried to come in, you know, right then. And guess what they did? They took me. I so I went to all these different football games. They let me have front row seats and stand on the sideline and whatever I wanted to do these football games go through the locker room see the weight room see the campus uh, <clears throat> on these recruiting trips right I and mean, it, it got worse than that um, you know it was hey go to this party uh, look at all these girls you know uh, check this out you can buy beer you can buy liquor you can buy whatever you want because uh, you're you're a college ball player you know 
you run the town here pretty much. Like, well, you have the keys to the city, you know, like LeBron did whenever he, you know, went to Miami. Uh, remember, you remember when he, uh, the, the, the big speech, they had a thing on TV just about this, uh, yesterday, you know, the, uh, I'm taking my talents down to South Beach, you know, LeBron James, NBA and all that. So anyways, that's what it's like being a college football player. They show you all this stuff in order to recruit you. They make you think that your life's going to be a party to go down here. Anyways, that's a little off track from the point of this video. The point is, you're brainwashed from a, a little kid to go to school and, and follow the system and then go get a job one day. You are not taught to start a business one day. You're not taught that. I don't, like I said, I don't care what school you went to, you're not taught that, all right? And from the get-go, the education system, uh, you know, we're here in the United States, we're so horrible, dude, like, with, and, and it's the standardized test, right? Where you say there's 50 questions on a test, no matter what subject it is, you know, number one, here's the question, blah, 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 how many wheels does a bicycle have? A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four. Uh, you know, and you got to pick A, B, C, or D, right? <clears throat> in other countries, like Switzerland and places like that, where, like, they're the top of the line in education now, where the United States used to be a long time ago, well, we're way, 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 way down the chart now, and it's because of that standardized test, okay? And this is known, okay? Like, the school systems, they know this. This is not news to them. I'm not, like some sort of rocket scientist genius who just figured this out. Um, they know that the standardized test is dumbing us down. Um, and then the media, you know, runs the same stories over and over and over and it's all bad news every day, right? Like, you're just being brainwashed. Uh, the standardized test, the reason it's so bad is because, guys, in real life, in business, as an entrepreneur, um, and in any real life situations, as a, as a dad, as a mom, as a parent in general and whatever it is you have to make choices and there is no a b c d you have to make up your own a b c d and then narrow it down to either a or b or whatever and make a choice but there's no one going to be there to do that for you you have to figure it out on your own so what switzerland and these other countries who are you know at the top of the charts in education what they do is they have a fill in the blank dude they ask a question and then there's nothing there but a blank and you have to be able to know. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what that does? When you take away the standardized test, now then, you have to know it. You have to know your stuff. You have to have studied and, and know your subject matter uh, before the test is given to you. There's not going to be any, well, I stayed up late and I hung out with Sally Sue at her house and we didn't study <laughs> and, or I just didn't study because I just didn't want to or I forgot I, I play sports and I got busy I'd practice late and blah 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 like there's none of that there's no ABCD the government knows this guys they know that the standardized test is dumbing us down they know that okay I went through the same system you did everybody does you know it's the same system that uh, my, my daughter, you know, and my kids will go through, and your kids, like, you have to learn this stuff for yourself, and then you have to pass this down from the generations to your kids, and let them pass it down to your kids. You know, this is stuff that the rich teach the rich, and the poor teach the poor, right? Not to, like, knock anybody down or anything. I'm just, I say it that way, that way you understand what I'm talking about, okay? Like, whenever, you know, Poverty is passed down generation to generation. You see what I'm saying? Like, poor people, whatever, blue collar people, uh, people who are, you know, less off, they teach their kids the same thing, to go to school, to get a good education, get a job, this, that, and other, go work for someone. And once again, I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying, there's a lot of people who don't want to work for someone else. There's a lot of people who want to do something on their own. Okay, and they don't want to run, you know, they don't, they want to run a business. They don't want to work for someone else for an hourly wage or a salary the rest of their life. They don't have the means to go to college for four years or eight years and be a lawyer or a doctor, even if they do have a brilliant mind. You know, even if they are blessed enough to be able to, uh, you know, pass the bar to be a lawyer or 
you know, pass, what is it, the MCATs to be a doctor, like, you see what I'm saying? And I know for someone who comes from a little bit of money, uh, parents with degrees and all that, you, you may have been raised different from me and a lot of people. You may not realize just how hard it is for people who really do come from the bottom, okay? It's really hard. Like, it is really hard. This is where, this is the point of my channel, right? Now, it's for anyone. This is for anyone. It doesn't matter what family you come from. If, if you still want your own freedom and to not work for someone else and to make your own living, make your own money, then listen to me right here and right now and watch my videos on my channel because I can teach you how to do it because I did it. I went through all this. I'm free now. I'm completely free. I am, you know, sitting here in my car right now. <clears throat> There's no one going to tell me to get out of my car. There's no one going to tell me to stop. There's no one going to tell me what to do today. No one told me to get out of bed this morning. I did it on my own, okay? You know, this is my work now. This, the, things like this, running business, just doing things the way I want to do them, okay? As long as it produces, you know, enough money that I'm happy with and can live off of, then that's the way my life is now, and I'm happy with that. Uh, you can have it that way, though. No matter where you come from, no matter how old you are, no matter uh, what color you are, what ethnicity, blah, 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 that the media makes everything about, let me tell you something. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can have what you want, but you have to believe that in your head. I watch these comments on, like, these videos that, like, I run an ad on or whatever, right? And, and they'll be like, that's fake money. That's, it's not real. This guy's a fraud. He's a scam artist. Whoa. Like, if you knew me, um, you would be embarrassed, okay? Like, after you've seen who I really am and after you saying that. Because that money's real, and I made that money. And it came directly from business. I didn't work for anyone else to get it. And it, it's not counterfeit. It's not Hollywood prop money. I didn't order it off Amazon or wherever you get it from. Uh, I promise you, okay? So, uh, it just kills me though, right? Like, that's the problem, that broken mindset. What it is is people think that there's no way that they could possibly ever become rich or wealthy or like own their own business, operate their own business and like be the boss and, and stop having a boss, okay? You can, you can, all right? You can, but you have to get that in your head that you can, that if little old me here down in Alabama can do it, why in the crud could you not? You can, all right? And the reason I stress this and harp on it is because this is the hardest part. This is the hardest part for so many people to get. I'm not kidding. People cannot g just get through that first step of, wait, so you're telling me if I do something like if I work like really, really hard and I have a really good idea or just a service I offer like pressure washing houses or whatever the case is that people will pay me to do that and I can take on as many jobs as I want to, which means I can make as much money as I want to. There's no way, there's no way that could happen. Scam. That's how people are and it drives me insane because it's like, can you not see past the brainwashing? That's what I want people to wake up to. Wake up to the fact that our education system is failing, failing you, failing me, failing our kids, and I don't give a crud who it makes mad. I don't care. I have friends that are teachers and football coaches and so on, etc. Okay? I have friends that are police officers. I have friends that are this, that, you name it, any career. I got friends that are in the NFL, dude. Like, it doesn't matter. We all went through the same crap. It's on purpose. The government doesn't make that kind of mistakes. Like, they're not stupid. They may be evil in some sense, but they're not stupid. They know what they're doing. They're dumbing you down so that they can make you an employee for life. So that you only buy one house, uh, your family home, for the rest of your life, and you never have anything more than that. You never start flipping houses. You never wholesale houses. You don't even know what that is. You have no idea what wholesaling houses is. You have no idea where to even begin 
to do a fix and flip on a house. You have no idea how to run any type of business or service where you're the boss and you run it. It starts from the time you are beginning to go to preschool or whatever. It starts before then because if your parents weren't entrepreneurs, then they're teaching you the way of the employee. They're teaching you the way that the education system has taught them. They love you. They want what's best for you. But they don't know that what's best for you is not the way they're teaching. Okay? This is where in my videos I've talked about um, don't listen to everyone's advice because while someone may love you and want what's best for you, they truly do in their heart. To be your best friend, a parent, whoever. They don't always know what's best for you. Okay? And I'm not your daddy. And I'm not your mama. And I'm not your teacher or your coach. Or, and I'm not telling you uh, what to do like as far as like trying to boss you. I'm trying to help you. If you're watching this, then I know that you, you want something better. You want something more. Plain and simple. So go and get it. It starts right here. It starts right here, guys. You have to get this right first. You gotta get it right. Are you hearing me? Get this right. Know that you can. Know that you can. Nothing can stop you. Nothing. Nothing will stop you. You're gonna be attacked from every different direction you can think of. Family members, friends, people you don't know, people you'll never know or never meet, online, these uh, YouTube trolls, you know, go around trolling YouTube and commenting on people's stuff, like all this negativity, all this hatred, they just carry hate in their heart everywhere they go. I carry love in my heart for everybody, you know, I love each and every one of you. Whether you know it or not, whether you care or not, whether you hate my guts or not, I don't really care. I love you anyways, and I want what's best for you. I want you to understand that there's real freedom out here. There's real freedom out here, and I've got it right now, but do you? And if you do, hey, props for you. Like I say, you know, let's take it to the next level. But for these folks out here who, if that's you that I'm talking to, that's still struggling, you're still stuck in, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, step A, you know, the grinder. You're just grinding every single day. You're getting that paycheck, and that's all you've got to look forward to is that paycheck. Like, man, I can't wait till it's Friday. You know, and just, well, I worked X amount of overtime hours, so that should make my check X amount better. Like, you gotta get out of that. Gotta get out of that. Say you make 13 bucks an hour, guess what? You are agreeing, and sorry guys, but my camera and my phone is like lagging a little bit, but just listen to what I'm saying. Say you make $13 an hour, or whatever it is. You are agreeing to trade your time something you can never get back ever and a lot of it like the majority of your life the majority of your time your entire life you're agreeing to this you're agreeing to trade an hour of your time an hour for 13 bucks or whatever it is you can never get that back ever why do you think that your your boss is your boss why do you like the owner not just your supervisor they're doing the same dang thing the owner of the company, why do you think they do what they do? They are a-okay with you trading your time for a little bit of money. They'll give you that money over and over and over. You know, if, if you're actually really good for the company, they'll double it. They'll change that 13 to 26 an hour. If you're good enough, if you help the company that much, help the business that much, huh, they have no problem with it. They have no problem with it. You know why? Because you are making it to where they can fulfill their dreams and they can go out and sit martinis on the beach or go fishing or just be at home with their family. They can do whatever they want to do. They have their time. You do not. You do not. They've stolen that from you. They didn't steal it, actually. You give it to them. You agreed to it, remember? You're still agreeing to it. Think about that. This starts from the beginning whenever you're a child you start in the school, like I say, and then really what your parents teach you before that and on throughout, throughout all these years of school, they're teaching you to become an employee. You gotta be on time, raise your hand to speak, do not go to the bathroom unless uh, you raise your hand and ask. Um, all these rules, rules, rules. Failure's bad. 
that was the point of me bringing that up in the, in the beginning of this video about failure. They teach you failure's bad because if you think failure's bad all the time, you'll never learn to fail to move forward. When you fail in business and in life, if you just think, well, I suck, I better give up. Well, that's what you'll do, you'll give up then. And you'll never have anything and you'll never be anything and no one will ever remember your name. They'll never know that you were here long after you're gone. Your, your great grandkids and then so on, you know, they'll, they'll forget or not even know you're ever here. They won't even know your name. Just like you might not know your great grandparents or great grandparents, great great grandparents' name. Be something, do something if that's what you want to do. It starts with your mindset. You must fail. You must suck it up at a bunch of different stuff to move forward. Okay? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to fail. That is the key to success. Failing, but learning from it and not giving up. Don't ever quit. If you don't quit, you'll win. If you don't quit, you'll win. I keep, I say this in nearly every video, and I'm gonna keep saying it. If you don't quit, if you just don't give up, if you just don't quit, you'll win at this thing, okay? All right, guys, that's it for me today. Uh, just wanted to harp on the education system a little bit. Um, if you've watched to this point in this video and you're not a subscriber, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you know, uh, you should probably subscribe, all right? Uh, you know, I may not be the best at everything. Um, I may not be, you know, like say your coach, your mama or daddy, but uh, I can dang sure help you change your life. That's for sure. Because I know how to do it because I did it with mine. And if you came from what I came from or worse and, and are in the position I'm in right now, uh, yeah. You have a license to, to teach people how to change their lives, okay? Bottom line, uh, I can help you, but you have to listen. You have to take action on the things that I'm saying, and you have to change your mindset. It starts there, and it ends there. This is a war of attrition. It's not a war of uh, sweat, you know, like just, you know, whatever you do at your job every day. Stop thinking about trading time for money. Start thinking about how can I use my mind to make money? How can I use my mind to come up with a good idea that would work? What's the best way I could run this business? What am I good at? What have I done before when I was working for someone else that I was pretty good at that? I wonder if I could do that for other people except it be my operation and not his or theirs. Just start thinking. Come up with something, game plan. All right, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, icon so that you're notified every time I upload another video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.